What's up, family? Back with another episode. So right now, we're going to do the vocals today. So I already wrote some little lyrics for this. Just something simple. You know, it's a songwriting contest, but we had like a month to work. So I did have the time that I spent to make like a real masterpiece. But I just thought I would put something together just for fun. But before we get to recording the vocals, I want to show you guys what I did with the beat since the last time we talked. So I just kind of did some arrangements on this and put it together. So I was going to show you what little differences there is. So for the intro, <coughs> the drums are pretty much like what you heard on the last video. What I added to it, we just solo out the sounds here. If just this guitar sample that I use, I kind of cut it up and sliced it. That's what shows that I was a hip hop guy. Cause I didn't just like put just a loop or a sample. I chopped it up, but listen to this. I'm going to show you guys something I did. I'm stupid. That was the, guess the drums, not the guitar. Hold up. Let's try this. So as you hear in there, there's like another like lower note that's strummed in there. It's like, doo -doo, beep -boo. and the thing is, that's not necessarily on the beat. So I heard that and the guys that are going to be judging this, they probably got to pick up on that too. It's a small thing, but I had to bring out some of the tricks that I used back in the day of making hip hop beats when you sample. So some of it is if there's a little extra sound in there, a lot of times you could just leave it. But for this, since this isn't a hip hop beat with a lot of chaotic rhythms going on, I can't just like hide it by adding extra drums or leaving sounds and like just accentuating that extra rhythmic thing that's being put in there. So I accentuated it instead by actually adding another little synth here. I added this kind of just buzzy synth. So I'm going to solo this just by itself. And I'm going to show you the effects that I put on it. So this is just a buzzy synth. So the way that it sounds like normal without any effects. You hear how it kind of distracts from that? So in the final mix, I'll probably do a little bit of EQ on this also just to make it fit better. So that's the first thing I did sound-wise that was different. So I decided that the hook right there where all the extra comes in needs to be 16 bars. Because while I was writing the lyrics, I just felt like the hook needs to be 16 bars. Because it was too short. And, I, and for me, I felt like since this is a pop song, the hook needs to be longer. So that's the only other main difference. Let's go to the ending here. Because the ending of the song gets a little bit chaotic. So it started... Let's go 4 before so you can hear what I did for this. So it's kind of normal here and I just like chop out the bass line here. And then I switch it up. Because like you actually hear like Robert from uh, the Home Studio Simplified channel. He talks about this a lot too on his um, listening. He talks about how like with stuff like this you don't want it to be repetitive. So that's something that I always preach too. In my reaction videos, I'm always saying like, you want to add something or take away something. A big thing though too, when it comes to pop music, you don't want to get carried away with it because that's not what the listener wants. The listener, they want they want to be able to expect what's coming up next. So you want to change things. But a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll just take sounds away or add like extra drum sounds in to accentuate the part of the song that we're on. Because if there's going to be lyrics on the song too, like this is, you got to leave some room for the lyrics. That's another thing that I learned um, from doing hip hop music for so long. A lot of times the rappers, rap's a little different because it's incredibly rhythmic. So you don't want to overload it with too many things because you have to leave room for the vocals. It's the same thing with pop music and the type of stuff that I do nowadays. Same thing. You want to leave room for those melodies to come through. Let the vocalists get their shine. So let's go back here and listen to it and I'll tell you guys what I did after. So I kind of stripped out some sounds here. Just going to be like a little transition. So this is the hook here. It's going to be different because it's going to be a more exposed and stripped down sounding hook. This part right here is kind of cool. I 
I had to bring in just a little bit of a shade of hip hop in here. So, but this is here. I took out the bass line. I put in this modulated 808 to end out the song. If I wasn't lazy, I probably would have tuned it. But like I said, we're working on kind of a time crunch here. Because I'm doing this in between other stuff, you know. Uh, so i kind of just been fitting this in as a side project in between other songs and writing my blog and then just life. So it's, yeah, I also <laughs> just put in like a modulated snare sound to add as a transition. So that's the same thing. I just took like a little snare shot and I um, put it into a sampler and I just modulated the pitches so that way it kind of has a little bit of a melodic twist to it is to be kind of a transition going into this. What's up guys? I'm back. Just got through doing this vocal take. This was in record time too. I looked at the clock. This was one hour to do all these vocal tracks right here. But I just got the speed like that. Not everybody's got the speed game like that. That plus like I said, this is in between other stuff. So today is like the day I put the first half of today aside specifically to do this so I'm trying to just get through it so I apologize to the judges if like this is rough around the edges at certain points but it is what it is anyway so I we're gonna do I'm gonna kind of go through each track and just let the beat build like in terms of what each vocal part is and I'm gonna kind of explain what I did for the performance we're gonna mix it just a little bit on this video just a little bit but like all the deep stuff I'll do off camera. I definitely um, <clears throat> do not consider myself an expert at mixing this type of music. So I'll let Robert on his channel uh, tell you about how to do that more than me. I, I've mixed rap music, but not really pop and stuff like this. Even though I just, I've done albums like this. I would consider myself an expert. So enough rambling. So we're going to play this through. So this starts off with a rap verse. So... Some of the things I want to talk about, because this is more focused on the vocal performance. For the rap verse, I did a couple of different takes. So this is Harrison Mix Bus, made by Harrison Consoles. The same company that made like the console that Thriller was mixed on and cool stuff like that. It's a software designed to kind of emulate what it's like mixing on an analog console. Like when you go to the mix window, it looks like this. So this is the rap verse right here. I'm going to show you what I did. Let me turn the mix down on the computer a little bit so you can't because I want to talk over this. So I have it looped here because what, what you do when you rap and you do a rap performance, what you want to do is my rule of thumb, any vocal performance, period. I don't care if it's absolutely perfect. Everybody's crying in the control room after the first take. I always do at least two takes. So that way I have some options. Always. That's not, that's not even an exception to that. I always do at least two takes. No matter if it's me singing, if it's a singer I'm working with, I always do two takes. Just because I like to have options when we go back and mix it. So... One of the biggest things that I did here with rapping, <clears throat> and I do this with myself when I used to do more rapping, and I do this with rappers I've worked with, same thing. Do two takes and do a slightly different tone of voice. Because that's something that a lot of people don't know about rapping. Your tone of voice means a lot. to match your tone of voice to the key and to the song. So this is a take that I did. That's my favorite. Because I did it in a higher tone of voice and I did it in a lower tone of voice. You hear I kind of did it in different tones of voice. This is like a lower tone. So to me, I felt like the, um, the higher tone of voice is the best. So I'll play him again with the volume a little louder real quick. 
time wasting, just chasing. Last one, it's hard to replace it. Just face it, ain't no one who can even come close to far or adjacent. I'm left with nothing to lose. It was my fault. I got nothing to prove. Time wasting, just chasing. Last one is <coughs> just I'm coughing now. So I really wore myself out doing all these vocals just now. Time wasting, just chasing. The last one is hard to replace it. Just face it, ain't no one who can even come close to far or adjacent. So you hear how I did that, kind of each take, I slightly changed the inflections and the tone of my voice. Would you rap or sing, do it with conviction. So like you believe every single word that it is that you're saying on the song. You right? want to say every single line, like it's just the most amazing line that you that anybody's ever said. Like this is the deepest, most Shakespearean thing anybody has ever heard in their entire life. So that's how you want to rap. That's the energy that you want to bring into it, first of all, with rapping. I'm telling them, time wasting, I'm just chasing. Like, that's why you got to kind of rap. You got to you gotta say it as if you're saying it to someone else so that you believe what you're saying. And also with some conviction, like, these bars are the realest bars I ever write. All right, so now let's go to the hook. Or same thing, we're going to kind of go through one at a time. People that know my music and have heard my stuff, they know a style that I started back in 2020. That has it gone nowhere. It's like I like the very airy type of uh, hooks, like very airy, very falsetto-y, like very dreamlike. So the way that you achieve that, you kind of had to layer it up. And, I'll, and what I do is I'll do a couple that are in falsetto. Then I'll do one in head voice. Then I'll do a low one, and I'll put them all together. So we'll go from the bottom to the top. So I'll play the low one, so you can hear how it sounds. So I'll put them. Uh, layered up and same thing same rule each one of these has at least two takes so that way i have some options so let's go to the hook low and loop it a special kind of love that's what i'm thinking of that's what i'm searching for a special kind of love that's what you're dreaming of that's what you're wishing for a special kind of love that's what I'm thinking now, that's what I'm searching for. A special kind of love, that's what you're dreaming now, that's what you're wishing for. A special kind of love, that's what I'm thinking of, that's what I'm searching for. A special kind of love, that's what you're dreaming of, that's what you're wishing for. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm searching for. So you kind of hear the difference between the head voice the and the falsetto sound. Like the falsetto is like a lighter, smoother type of a sound. So, so this is what the falsetto sounds like. So I, I always stack two of them together. That's my. I shouldn't be giving you all my secret recipe though, but whatever. You know, this is about learning. It's educational. So this is my secret recipe. For how I make my trash music. A special kind of love, that's what I'm thinking of, that's what I'm searching for. A special kind of love, that's what you're dreaming of, that's what you're wishing for. So you put them all together. A special together. kind of love, that's what I'm thinking of, that's what I'm searching for. So let's go to the next part of the hook. So this is the second part, how I told you guys we'll be making the beat. I felt like the hook needs to be longer, so it's like a, it's a little bit longer. So then this here, my creative decision after doing it a while, I decided that this part, I was just gonna do um, single track. I wasn't gonna double it because I wanted it to be more exposed sounding. So this is just like regular voice singing right here. Let me actually play it through so you can hear the transition. That's what you're wishing for. Anymore. I don't know where to find a new love. They don't just walk right in the door. So that's the second part of the hook. So right. I said this like I had to sing it as if I thought it was amazing. I had to sing it like I turned into Luther Van Dross. I did because like because just get me through the night. Whoa, whoa. Nobody's going to want to listen to that. You got to sing it like how I did on there. You got to have like some energy behind it, like of some sort. Because it might not be a happy emotion, 
sometimes it's sad, but you want to put energy to make it sound sad. So that's why I had that. So I, I'm going to use different effects on the singing verses versus the singing chorus versus the rap verse. All these are going to be treated differently when I mix. That's the way I've always done it. That's also the way I was taught to do it in school was to uh, separate that. Because rap, you, rap is, you mix a lot differently than you mix uh, singing. I had to sing it in a lower tone of voice just because I wanted to have like a that kind of deeper quality to it the way I'm going to mix it I'm actually going to take most of the booty out of that and just make it real thin sounding because that's creatively how it came out to me in my head is just to have it kind of like a really different sound to it like very light they're not the greatest lyrics in the world but hey pop music doesn't have to have the greatest lyrics just keep it simple you know keep it very simple so um, with this what I was going to say with how I did this with the vocal performance what I talk about same thing I did multiple takes on this and I had to get warmed up because warm up is it's not just the actual voice it's also mental so out of the, like the hour that I mentioned it took me to record all of these probably the first 20 minutes of this was just warming up because I wanted to make sure that my vo vocal cords were nice and loose my ears were in tune and I was ready and then not only that, but also, like I said, the confidence. I had to make sure my confidence was ready so that when I seen this, I was going to be half-stepping. I was going to actually sing it like I meant to. When you're practicing this and going through it before you even turn on the mic, you have to just kind of decide, okay, is this in a comfy key for me? Do I want to change certain things? Do I need to rewrite some words? Because, like, is, is there certain words that I can't get smooth? So you have to kind of think about a lot of that. Because in my opinion, I think rapping is a lot easier to write. For me personally, just because that's what I did first. Because of the fact it's all about the rhythm. It's more rhythmic. And also I feel like it's more creative and you can be a little bit more direct with the lyricism. Because you don't have to think about things like how these words work into a melody. It's just how they work into a rhythm. And you can be really creative with that. You can be creative like that with singing too. But I just, for me personally, find it a little more difficult. So you kind of see how this region is sliced and diced a little bit. It's because here's the point, too, with what I'm talking about, with how you sometimes have to make adjustments. That's very important. Always make adjustments. So I made an adjustment here because at first, the way I wrote it, it was like, you can say anything about you and me. But I changed it to, instead of saying about, I changed it to just about. Because sometimes, because I just felt like the about, I didn't want that extra syllable in there. So I changed it to just about. We could do this one real quick. Something like an insect. Born into the rain. Born into the rain. Born into the rain. So that's another one here. The tessitura of this is very low. I can hit those notes, but it was a question of, is that the type of sound that I wanted? And it actually is. I wanted to have that low, really low tone of voice for this one. That's your kind of love. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm searching for. A special kind of love. That's what you're dreaming of. That's what you're wishing for. Just give me a now. A special kind of love. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm searching for. Be
Like I said, this is my formula for rap. You know, it's, it's different and better ways to do it, I'm sure, but this is how I've always done it and made some really cool sounding rap tracks that a lot of people enjoy. So, like I said, I know I don't claim to be an expert and I don't claim that this is the way that everyone should do it. It's just the way I do it personally. Just to, like I said, to show you guys my secret formula, you know. So with rap, it's more fun with the impressor because it's a thing to like just crush everything with rap vocals because you want to hear every little sound. So, so yeah, and I'm not the only one that does this that I know that makes this rap. There's a lot of like even pro guys do this. So like, just go insane with the compression ratio. Like for me, I magic number of me is like the 9.1 to one. That's usually where I put it. One way I've heard of how to describe mixing rap vocals too. The EQ with compression is like you use the EQ to take all the bass out of it and then you put the low back in with the compression. So that's one way I've heard somebody explain. I'm left with nothing to lose. It was bittersweet, I got nothing to prove. The pain of the pleasure, it was hard to choose. That's why I came out broke from the family view. And no prizes, no good answers. Mr. Jacqueline High, but doing strange dances. She had a spell on me, turned me to stone and let me bleed. I feel like this might need to be DS a little bit. So. It was bittersweet, I got nothing to prove. The pain of the pleasure, it was hard to choose. That's why I came out broke from the family feud. And no prizes, no good answers. Mrs. Jacqueline High, but doing strange dances. She had a spell on me. Yeah, I'm gonna mix the rest of this, all the singing vocals off camera. Make sure you guys support the Home Studio Simplified channel. Go over there and show it some love when they put this, put theirs up. And hopefully I'm a finalist. Regardless, I'm gonna still show it mad love the whole competition and everything that they do so go show their channel some love cheer me on anybody that's from over here that's not part of that group go over there and, and tell them i sent you and uh yeah so let me end i'll say what i end all my video love what you do i enjoy making this song as part of the challenge and i hope that all of you enjoy watching me too and I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you. Y'all see you.